In this video, we're going to look at another example of finding the difference quotient of a function. So let's say that we're asked to find the difference quotient of the function f of x equals 3x divided by x plus 1. <clears throat> okay, the first thing I would like to do is find f of x plus h. So remember that your difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h, where h is not equal to 0. Okay, so finding f of x plus h is going to be my first step <clears throat> before I plug everything back into my formula here. So I need to take x plus h and plug it in here in my numerator where I have x and in my denominator where I have x. So I'm looking at 3 times x plus h all over x plus h plus 1. Okay, so I didn't really need to include this denominator in parentheses. So we're just going to call it 3x plus h in the numerator over x plus h plus 1 in the denominator, okay? So I need to find f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h, okay? So that is equal to this minus this divided by h. So I'm looking at 3 times x plus h divided by x plus h plus 1 minus my function 3x over x plus 1 and all of this is being divided by h. Okay. So before we continue on, before I can subtract my numerator, I have to make sure that they have the same denominator. And they don't here, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to change this a little bit. So we need an LCD. And here, my LCD is the product of both of my denominators. So x plus h plus 1 and x plus 1. So that means I need to take my first term, my first fraction here, 3 times x plus h divided by x plus h plus 1, and I need to give it this denominator. Well, I already have this first set of parentheses, x plus h plus 1, so that tells me I need to multiply numerator and denominator by what's missing, x plus 1. Okay, so here in my numerator now I'm looking at 3 times x plus h times x plus 1, and my denominator is x plus h plus 1 in one set of parentheses times x plus 1 in another set of parentheses. I still need to take this term right here, 3x divided by x plus 1, and give it this denominator also. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm looking at 3x over x plus 1. So I need to multiply it by what's missing, and here that's x plus h plus 1. So once again here, I'm now looking at 3x times x plus h plus 1, all divided by x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. I'm going to block that off because it's just side work here. So now what I'm looking at it. 
is f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. My difference quotient is equal to this minus this, okay? So 3 times x plus h times x plus 1 over x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1 minus this term now. 3x times x plus h plus 1, all divided by x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Okay, And we cannot forget that this is all still divided by h. I'm going to change to a fresh sheet of paper here. So this is still what I'm working with. And now in the numerator, I still have two fractions in my numerator. They're being subtracted. They have a common denominator now, so I can rewrite this as one fraction, okay? So my new fraction is equal to three times x plus h, x plus one, minus three x times x plus h plus one, all divided by x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. And this whole thing here is still in the numerator of a fraction with my denominator being h. Okay. Now remember, when you have fractions inside of fractions, the way you do that is you take the reciprocal of the denominator and multiply it back to the numerator. Okay, so let's do that here before we try to simplify anything else. <clears throat> so that is equal to 3 times x plus h times x plus 1 minus 3x times x plus h plus 1 all divided by x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. And now taking the reciprocal of h, I'm multiplying by 1 over h, okay? Let me make one more simplification before we try to start messing with these two sets of parentheses. And that is just to do this multiplication. 1 times the numerator is just the numerator, and h times the denominator is just it just means I can take my h and put it over here with my denominator. I'm not going to try to multiply it back into the parentheses. So this equals 3 times x plus h times x plus 1 minus 3x times x plus h plus 1 all divided by h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Okay. So, <clears throat> I know that this is a long problem, but I'm trying to simplify one thing at a time so we don't lose anything because it is very messy. Now that I am just looking at a single fraction, I can start working to clear my parentheses on top. If you haven't realized it by now, our real true goal is to try to make this H go away. Okay, I'm not going to foil out the denominator at all. I'm not going to multiply this h into the set of parentheses. I'm fine to leave it just how it is and just work with my numerator. Okay. So these two sets of parentheses, x plus h and x plus 1, I need to foil. And then I can distribute my 3 inside of my answer. And then this 3x, I need to distribute it across my parentheses, making sure I'm multiplying by negative 3x so I don't lose my signs. Okay? So equals 3 times x times x gives me x squared. x plus times positive 1 gives me plus x h times x gives me plus hx, and h times positive 1 
gives me h. Okay. Now taking this negative 3x and distributing it inside of this parentheses, I have minus 3x squared minus 3xh minus 3x. This is all still being divided by h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Okay. One more thing I have to do, I can take this 3 and distribute it into my parentheses now. Then we can start looking for terms to cancel. So this equals 3x squared plus 3x plus 3hx plus 3h minus 3x squared minus 3xh minus 3x can't forget about my denominator, still h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. So now, negative 3x squared cancels out my positive 3x squared. My negative 3x cancels out my positive 3x. My negative 3xh cancels out my positive 3hx. So I am left with 3h in the numerator, all divided by h times x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. Last thing I have, this h will cancel out this h. So my final answer is 3 divided by x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1. And I'm done.